Hi everybody, welcome back, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate MathJax into Dash when building your analytics Python web app. Starting with version 2.3 or higher, you can incorporate MathJax into your Dash app. MathJax is a way to, or is a library that allows you to render and display math and equations on your web browser, just like you see here and here and in your uh, y-axis in this Plotly Express line chart. There are two ways to incorporate MathJax into Dash. You can either do it through the DCC markdown, which is a Dash core component markdown, or through the DCC graph, which is a Dash core component graph within the Plotly Express um, graphs or figures. So remember, two ways, DCC Markdown or DCC Graphs. In both ways, you have to um, assign true to MathJax. Don't forget to do that. I forgot to assign true to MathJax a couple of times, and <laughs> I wasted many hours uh, because I forgot to make this true. Right here and right here. All right, so let me show you how to do this uh, because we are going to see today how to incorporate it with uh, alone and with text. You see there's text next to this and there's text next to this. It's not as simple as, as you think, but uh, I'm gonna explain it and by the end of this video, you uh, clearly know how to do it. So to get started, I recommend downloading the code that I have on the screen from my GitHub. Uh, if you love the GitHub, don't forget to star it or fork it so you can get alerts every time I uh, do a new video, a new code, and just copy this here, put it inside your PyCharm or Visual Studios or Atom, um, and, and it will look like this. Make sure to run it, and once you run it, you should have this app in front of you. All right, so let's see how we do this. Let's go back to the code. So first, we're going to do, let me minimize my first row. The first row is just this right here. It's just a text, it doesn't have anything. And in the second row, I have uh, MathJax in Markdown and MathJax with text. So let's see how we do this. Here we have MathJax alone, and here we have MathJax with text. So what we need to do is say MathJax equals true and put the um, LaTeX, this is called LaTeX language, put this in between two dollar signs. Make sure you have one dollar sign on each side and all of this obviously goes inside a string. Well, sorry, it's not very obvious. I didn't know this, but this goes inside a string. So you have to have it between quotation marks and between the dollar signs. And this, it, this will generate this formula right here. Now, let's say we want to try a different formula. I'm going to give you these two, these two links under the video. This link is a great, great um, starting tutorial for understanding LaTeX and how to build certain equations. And then this is a great cheat sheet that I found on the web. Uh, so you don't have to memorize all types of the, the LaTeX language and all types of formulas, you can just look it up here. This is gonna be under the video. So let's do a, an example of a different formula. Let's go in here and let's do this formula. We'll copy this, we'll go in here, and then you'll do, copy it in here. And now we'll try to run this and we'll see that it's not going to work. Let's go right here and you'll see that is, this doesn't look good. Actually, it looks pretty horrendous. And why that is, it's because I put this notation here. When, you use, when you're using one backslash, like in the example on the, on the website, you need to make sure that this is, you're using raw string. So you put an R before that. And then if you rerun uh, re the code, you'll see that now it works. Let's refresh, and you see that now it works. So remember this um, small detail. If you're using one backslash, then you put raw string. If you don't want to use R, then just use two backslashes, like in this example below, and it would work. Okay, 
Let's go to the second example. Let's go to this markdown with text. To do it with text, all you have to do is to put um, everything inside one string, one quotation mark here to begin, one to end, and text is outside of the dollar signs, and LaTeX will be inside the dollar signs. So this formula is going to be inside the dollar sign. And that is how you combine text with LaTeX or MathJax. Now it's slightly different with, with um, DCC graph and, and the Plotly Express. When you combine text and the formula, you have to do something different. First, let's see how we do this. This is just a regular formula, regular math jacks inside the Plotly Express line chart. So we go up here. Let's go to the line chart, the one on the left, this one. Just built in data from Plotly Express on stocks and we're going to update the y-axis, we're going to update the, the text of the title on the y-axis, and just like in the markdown, we're going to put everything inside a string and in between two dollar signs, just like we had on the left um, markdown on the page. See? So we have it right here. So this is very similar to the way we do this in markdown. However, the difference is when you combine text and latex latex into a graph or a plotly express figure here you see the figure on the right it's the same figure but now to combine text with latex we have to do this we have to do backslash well let's start we have to put everything between a str uh, with within quotation marks so it's one string and then we have to say uh, everything it goes inside the dollar signs, but text will go inside a dictionary after backslash text. So unlike this markdown right here, where you just put it inside the string within a uh, DCC graph or a Plotly Express figure, you have to put everything inside the dollar sign, but text will go inside a dictionary after a backslash text, right? So you can take away the R, but then you need two backslashes. You can do this the same. And you can also add it somewhere else. Let's say we want to add here a text. Uh, we'll put backslash, backslash, text, dictionary, and then we'll say, for real, for real. All right, now let's run this. And now we'll see that we have here text, the equation and right after that for real. Cool. So that's the way to incorporate uh, LaTeX and MathJax inside Dash. Uh, very useful for people who are using uh, formulas, equations, math, um, and not too difficult. So I hope you learned a lot. If you did, uh, click to subscribe to my video, turn to my channel, turn on your um, alerts on YouTube so you get alerts every week of a new video. Um, also, you can fork and star on my GitHub if you'd like. This will give you uh, additional alerts of new videos. And of course, uh, if you'd like to support this um, content uh, and this channel is completely based on, on membership support, um, click on the Patreon link over there and I welcome you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. And always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Bye-bye.